Hello, everyone. I just wanted to give you an update on the arrest in Okmogi of the um, Mr. Kennedy that they were looking for. Um, I have him on the screen right now for you. I will play this quick video from Insider Edition, I believe, is who uh, this video is by. A person of interest is now in custody in the case of four friends who were found dead in Oklahoma. The Okmulgee Police Department said it wanted to question Joe Kennedy for their investigation after detectives found evidence of a violent event on property next to his salvage yard. Cops say Kennedy was apprehended in Florida in a vehicle that was reported stolen to the Okmulgee Sheriff's Office. The police chief announced that the remains of Mark Chastain, Billy Chastain, Mike Sparks, and Alex Stevens were found in the Deep Fork River days after they were reported missing. They had all suffered gunshot wounds and were partially dismembered. Police say the men were planning to commit a criminal act the night they went missing, although they don't know the specifics of the plan. Police say Kennedy is considered a person of interest and their investigation is ongoing. Authorities are in the process of extraditing him back to Oklahoma. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano. Okay, and then I'm gonna take you to one more video and show you what they had to say on that one. So that's good. That's really good news. First of four, an Okmulgee man named a person of interest in connection with the murder and dismemberment of four men is arrested nearly 18 hours away from Oklahoma in Florida. Thanks for wow. joining us today at four. I'm Jonathan Cooper. And I'm Tatum Gwynn. News on Six's Reagan Ledbetter tells us how police tracked down Joe Kennedy and what happens next. The Logan County District Attorney and the Sheriff are working right now to bring Joe Kennedy back to Oklahoma to be questioned about the quadruple murder and dismemberment of four missing men. The law enforcement tracked down Kennedy on Monday in Daytona Beach Shores, Florida. He was arrested while driving a stolen vehicle. Kennedy owns a salvage yard near Schulter that police searched last week while looking for Mark Chastain, his brother Billy, Mike Sparks, and Alex Stevens. No evidence of the men were found at the salvage yard, but investigators tell us blood was discovered on another property nearby. Investigators say the four missing men were shot, then dismembered before the remains were dumped in the Deep Fork River. Mark and Billy's cousin Ashley Karn says their family is devastated and in shock over losing their loved one in such a violent way. They're going to be missed, um, and it's 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 going to hurt um, because their lives were taken. And um, like I said, you know, regardless of who they were or what their choices were their lives meant something. They weren't trash. There is now a warrant for Kennedy's arrest in Okmulgee County for violating the terms of a 10-year deferred sentence he is currently serving. That sentence is in connection with a 2012 shooting at his salvage yard where he shot a man who broke into his business with five other people. That victim survived. Reagan Ledbetter, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6. Wow. In Florida. Wow. And I'm just going to bring you over to Okmulgee Police Department. Um, they said on Facebook, homicide update from Chief Prentice on the 18th. Joe Kennedy is in custody. He was arrested in a stolen vehicle that was reported stolen to the Okmulgee County Sheriff's Office on the 17th. He was arrested in Daytona Beach, Shores, Florida. Additionally, a warrant has been issued for his arrest in Okmulgee County District Court on case number CF 2012-284, uh, application to accelerate a judgment and sentence he received in relation to a shooting in 2012. The bond for that warrant is $500,000. The district attorney and the sheriff will return I mean, we'll begin the process of getting Kennedy back to Okmulgee County. The murder investigation is ongoing and investigators continue to follow leads every day. Additional information will be relayed when it is available. Wow. I was, I was a little hung up on this one still. And um, yeah, that shooting from 2012, because I had heard something about him having shot um, somebody before. So that is rather interesting. Um, 
And then this was the last one for when they had found his PT cruiser. But yeah, so that's the update on him for now. And as they put out more information um, about him and him actually getting back to Okmulgee, I will give you guys updates from there. Hope you all have an awesome day or night, and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon.